Hello students. So, now we will uh, start with the next part of the midpoint uh, line drawing algorithm so which we were discussing. So, if you go through the previous part you will understand that uh, we were in the uh, step of selecting N e that is the N e pixel is selected and what do I do with my decision variables that is the new decision variables. So, now uh, m is incremented by 1 and also it is incremented by 1 in uh, both x and y direction. So, in the x direction and also in the y direction and the new decision variable at this point will be d nu is equal to that is f of x p plus 1 was our previous pixel to that if I add 1 it is going to be x p plus 2. Then y p plus half was my previous pixel to that if I add 1 that is half plus 1 is going to be y p plus 3 by 2. So, therefore, this is the d new that is the new decision variable that I get here and that will be of course, a into x p plus 2 plus b into y p plus 3 by 2 plus c. And now, we will always uh, be uh, calculating d nu minus d old in, in both the cases. So, therefore, the d old happens to be the same d old that is d old will be a into x p plus 1 plus b into y p plus half plus c. Now, we calculate d nu minus d old. So, that is d nu minus d old and that will be by that we will get it by subtracting these two equations that is this is d nu and this is d old. Subtracting these two equations I should get a particular value. Here uh, directly uh, you will not be able to subtract anything and uh, that you can simplify it and then subtract it and you can get it that is uh, the a x p it may get, get cancelled and a x p it may get cancelled, but not the whole thing that is uh, 2 a is there and uh, there is a a and uh, uh, y p and y p will get cancelled uh, b 3 by 2 uh, minus b by 2 is what you will get. So, uh, after coming to a conclusions that is what happens if I subtract exactly is a plus b after subtracting these two equations. So, you get you should get a plus b. So, directly you will not be able to subtract everything, uh, but uh, just uh, by simplifying as we did it in the uh, selection of the pixel e the mm. same way if you subtract. So, the d nu minus d old will be a plus b. So, if it is a plus b, so uh, we also need to write it in the form of dy and dx and now we know that a happens to be a d y and b is minus d x. So, if you refer the part 1, so there we have already discussed about this why this a and b are happen are uh, assigned with these values. So, a is d y and b is minus d x. So, therefore, the change in n e is equal to that is delta n e is equal to d y minus d x is what the conclusion that we will come now. That is we know what is delta e and we know what is delta n e. So, using this, so now we will have to uh, start to write the algorithm. Before writing the algorithm, we will have to come out with some uh, adjustments or uh, the uh, logical uh, uh, things that we have to consider so that it can be directly written as an algorithm. So, to do all those things, so we will have to start it from the first that is uh, I have selected or I have uh, started from the pixel x naught y naught and then I am moving further. So, this is how we have to start. So, keeping all this in mind that is what is e that is what is n e and what is delta e and what is delta n e. So, we will move further. Say now my first pixel is x naught y naught that is this is the starting point of my line. I am starting my uh, drawing of the line with the uh, x naught y naught and the initial value is d initial va value that is d is what I have to calculate and this d will be at f of x naught 
plus 1 this we have already seen that is at the midpoint what is the first decision variable that I calculate it will be uh, x p plus 1. So, now my initial point is x naught therefore, I am taking it as x naught plus 1 and y naught plus half. So, if this is the case, so then substitute in the equation a x plus b y plus c x naught plus 1 plus b into y naught plus half plus c and uh, simplify it and see it, it can be uh, brought it to any uh, simple manner that is simple pattern a x naught plus a plus b by naught plus b by 2 plus c. So, now uh, put the common things or the similar things towards one side a x naught plus b y naught it all looks like the same plus c ok. So, a x naught b y naught plus c and put a plus b by 2 separately a plus b by 2 as separate. Now, we can see uh, it is in the form of a x naught plus b y naught plus c. So, this can be treated as f of x naught y naught is not it. So, it is like uh, x naught uh, y naught at the point x naught y naught my equation for the line will be a x naught plus b y naught plus c. So, therefore, I can write it as it is f of x naught plus y naught and a plus b by 2 is left over just, just keep it as it is. And now, uh, we have seen that at the point that is at the line uh, at the particular uh, function at the line will always be 0. So, the even that also we have discussed in the first part the equation of the line happens to be 0 on the line. So, therefore, this x naught and y naught of course, is the point on the line. So, therefore, this f of x naught happens to be a 0. So, then the decision variable d nu will be a plus b by 2. So, this is the initial decision variable that is d and that is equal to a plus b by 2 and that we will have to uh, use it. So, that we will have to write the algorithm and that we will see in the next part. Thank you.